Lance. Hey, I just put in some new equipment at the recording studio. You want to come check it out? Bring your beer. So I put the whole studio down here. This one's great. They use this kind on pet sounds. You know pet sounds. Come on. Amps. It's like 1962. Same kind of these on pet sounds. You hear that snap? You hear that clap? I've got all the top quality stuff. I just need the top quality people. I just gotta attract that one important artist, but it hasn't happened yet. It's a matter of getting people up there, you know what I mean? Effects, mics. I had this lamp brought in from Detroit. Got this from a studio in London, $4. I used to use these for some of the drum mics on Pet Sounds, and a lot of Beatles type stuff. No, 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 down the dream. I built this echo chamber. These are the original keys used on Pet Sounds. All right, listen to this. Canyon, 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 canyon. The lounge looks a little bit like a mess, but I kind of set it up that way. I have the stick sticking out just to kind of catch your hair as you go through. Sometimes I just daydream about, like, Brian Wilson coming down here. Oh, I can use these. See this chair? Got it from Electric Ladyland in New York. So when you talk to the band, like, how does it sound? What? That's the one. All I need is someone to just come in and book time. And if they don't, I'm out a lot of cash. <laughs> Mike right there. Got some great vintage amps downstairs, too. Lance, hit, hit record. Uh, right over there, we've got a, a Shore 58. 100 bucks, but you know <laughs> you know how they sound. Got a great piano down there. You know, a lot of stuff they used on uh, you know, pet sounds, that kind of stuff. 